Hi, my name is Miss Black and I am so excited to see you. And I am Mrs. Mugabe. I'm excited to see you as well. We are so sad that we can't have you here with us at Pre-Kites. But instead of you coming here, we have another plan. Guess what? We're going to record videos every day for four days in a week. And we're so excited to be reading all these amazing stories to you and sending some activities for you to do while you're at home. So get ready. Join us for the adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, I have a very short story to read to you today. So before we read that story, first I'm going to ask you about feelings. So we've been talking about feelings, about feeling happy or sad or angry or frustrated or disappointed, all of those feelings that we've been talking about. And so I wanted to ask you, do you think, put your hands on your head if you think the answer is yes, if you think your dog has feelings too. So if you were sitting on your dog and maybe you pulled his tail, does he have feelings too? Yes, hands on your head or no? Hmm, I wonder what you think. I think that puppy dog does have feelings. I would put my hand on my head like this because you know what? If you were to pull that puppy dog's tail, I bet you he would bark at you or he would definitely tell you that he didn't like it. So even though your puppy dog can't talk, he still has feelings. What about if you had bunny rabbits? Does anybody have bunny rabbits? I think bunny rabbits would have feelings too. We have to be kind to our animals, don't we? Just like we have to be kind to our friends with our words and with how we play with each other, we also have to be kind to our animals. And I'm sure some of you have got different animals. Some of you have got puppy dogs. Some of you have got bunny rabbits. And I don't know what else you might have, but maybe you could write to Miss Black and let us know what animals you have. Because animals are fun, aren't they? It's fun looking after animals. Okay, before I read our story, does anybody remember what our memory verse is that we were learning last week? Philippians chapter, what number? It's a favorite number in our house because it's somebody's age. Philippians chapter four, verse 13, a one and a three. And it says, I, so point to yourself, I can do all things, so make a circle because I can do all things through who? Through him. And through him is, we refer to Jesus. So Jesus can help us do all things, even if we're feeling not very brave or not very courageous or a little bit angry but especially when we're feeling happy. Through him, who, what does Jesus give us? He gives us strength. Through him who strengthens me. So I'm gonna put our pictures down and do it with my hands and maybe you can help me. So Philippians chapter four, verse 13. I can do all things through him who, big muscles, can strengthen me. Well done. Always remember that. If there's something that you feel a little bit scared or worried or concerned, that you can do all things with Jesus. Okay. My story today is a little bit of a funny one, but it's short as well. So it's not going to take very long. It's called... The pigeon has feelings too. Now the person that wrote the pigeon books is called Mo Williams. And we have a few of these books at Pre-Kites. So you might see another pigeon book another day. But today I'm going to read The Pigeon Has Feelings Too. Just like your bunny rabbit or your puppy dog 
the pigeon has feelings too. And it's just a little book too, so I can hold it here and you can see it. Except I can't read the words, so let me do this. <laughs> hey pigeon, why don't you show everybody your happy face? And the pigeon said, hmm, never. Do you think that pigeon sounds happy? Or do you think he sounds a bit grumpy? Hmm, his answer was never. Why should I? Do I get on your bus and tell you how to drive? Oh my goodness, is that pigeon being polite to the bus driver? Or is he using some rude manners and some rude words? I don't think I would like it if I heard somebody speak to the bus driver like that. Boy, you sure know how to make a bird angry. And look at his footprints. He's stamp, 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 stamping off. He is not happy today. You know, sometimes when somebody's not happy, I always think, hmm, I wonder what happened to them this morning. Did they have a bad situation happen? Or did they just wake up grumpy? So he said, you sure know how to make a pigeon angry. And then he says, and sad. Oh no, poor pigeon, look how sad he is. How do we know that he feels sad? He's put his head down, hasn't he? And he's having a bit of a, bit of a grump and a bit of a, oh, I feel so sad moment. Poor pigeon. Everyone always tells me what to do. Do you ever feel like that sometimes? Do you feel like you have people that are telling you what to do all the time? Hmm. Okay, okay. You don't have to show us your happy face if you don't want to, said the bus driver. Hmm. Do you think the bus driver is trying to trick the pigeon? Because he said, show us your happy face. And now he's saying, no, 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 no. Don't show us your happy face. I don't want to see your happy face. Hey, don't show me your happy face because I don't want to see it. Yippee, I win. You're looking at one happy pigeon right now. Happy, 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 happy. Look at that pigeon. He sounds happy now, doesn't he? Wait a second, thought the pigeon. Hmm. What do you think the pigeon's thinking about now? The bus driver told him to show a happy face. He said, never. He said, why do people always tell me what to do? Then the bus driver said, okay, don't show me your happy face. I don't want to see it. And now he's thinking, hmm. Wait a second. Then he says, oh, he feels almost defeated. That bus driver gets me every time. And look at him. What is his body telling us now? Does he look happy in this picture? No, he doesn't really look happy, does he? But he doesn't look the same sad as he did on the other sad page. I think he just feels maybe a little bit frustrated. Or a bit like, oh, that bus driver gets me every time. So the bus driver tricked him, didn't he? So in the beginning, the bus driver said, hey, show me your happy face. And he said, never. But then he told the bus driver that he knows how to make him angry. And then he thought, why does everyone tell me what to do all the time? And then the bus driver said, okay. Don't show me your happy face. And he was happy. He was like, yay, happy, 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 happy. And then he's like, hang on a second. I think that bus driver's tricking me. 
Hmm. Tricker. So that's only a very short story, but I hope it was a fun story and that you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed it too. And you know what? I have sent lots of activities home for your mum and dad to print with the, um, the pigeon. I think there's a pigeon mask in there that you can make and there's some pigeon activities. And there's even, I thought maybe you could dramatise this story. Do you know what dramatise means? It means that you can act it out. So maybe you could ask your mum or your dad or whoever's helping you to be the bus driver and you can have a turn at being the pigeon and then you can swap places. You could be the bus driver and your mum or your dad could be the pigeon. So have fun acting that out and um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for listening.